All right, so in this video, I'm just going to show a quick example of how we can make a camera and attach a camera to a path to rotate around an object. So I'm going to just start by creating a plane for a ground and creating a box form here. So let's say that I want to um, create a camera, and right now I can just use my orbit tools, but let's say that I want to rotate around this object um, from a section view to an axonometric view, or approximate, approximate that. Um, I'm going to start by creating a, uh, a curve, um, and that's going to be the path that the camera follows along. So I'm going to go to Create. Um, NURBS and I'm going to create a uh, control vertices um, curve so the CV curve I'm going to click that and I'm going to just switch over to my top view here and let's say that my axon will be some starting somewhere around here and so I'm just going to kind of click to roughly define um, where the axon starts and where I'll end with this section view and then I'll right click to complete that command. So if I zoom out from here I can see in my perspective view that I have the path. Um, so I'm just gonna use my select object tool to click in space here to deselect. And now I'm gonna create a camera. So I'm gonna go to uh, create um, cameras and I'm, for this I'm going to use a target camera because we we want to have a specific target that doesn't move that's stationary and we're gonna have the camera rotate around that so I'll click tar target camera and again I can go to my top view for this but I'm just gonna click here to start the camera position and then I'm going to, holding my left mouse button down, I'm dragging and I'm going to place the camera target close to where I want it, here in the middle of this box and I'll um, release the left mouse button and then that will be placed. So um, I can always adjust the, the camera uh, and the path later. Um, right now I just want to get these two objects here and now I can um, attach the camera to the path. So again I'm gonna use my select tool, uh, make sure I don't have anything selected and I'll select uh, the camera and I'm gonna go over to um, animation and constraints and path constraint. So I'll click path constraint and now when I come back over to my perspective view and I'm just moving my mouse around a little bit here, you could see this uh, hidden line. And so I'm going to hover my mouse over the uh, path and I'm going to click and you'll we'll see the camera jump to the path. And so now it's constrained to that. I'm going to deselect again, just deselect everything and in my um, animation um, frames, I'm going to go over and just play this animation, click on the play button, and I can see that the camera is now attached to that path and it'll just continue to loop. So I'm going to stop that, I'm going to move my frames back to the beginning here, and now I can uh, work with the path a little bit more to position the camera where I want it to be positioned, so I'm going to select the path again and over here on the top right I'm gonna go over to my modify tab and I'm gonna expand I can see I have my NURBS curve here selected I'm gonna expand that and I'm gonna click on curve CV so this brings up the control vertices and now I can select these uh, control vertices um, individually and I can begin to um, to move those so I can select these vertices and I can uh, go over to my uh, move tool, select and move, and now I can begin to move these 
up. Right, so I can just move these up individually, and if I know I want to end up more of a, with more of an elevation view, sorry, not a section view, but uh, looking in this direction at this elevation, um, I can continue to move these up, and it's a little hard for me to tell right now, like what these views are. So I'm going to change from my perspective view. I'm going to click on perspective, go to camera, and camera one. So now I'm in my camera one view, and this is a little bit easier for me to work with. I'm going to move the control vertices in all of these other um, view uh, viewports because now I can adjust this and you'll see as I move this up my camera path is changing so my view is changing from camera one so let's say that seems pretty good right there and now I could just kind of slide my uh, the keys and I'm gonna continue to slide until um, I see where this kind of ends up so this is pretty close to where I want to end up, it's a little bit that um, high right now, and in, in the frame. So I'm going to select this again, maybe both of these, and I'm going to move both of these control uh, move. I was trying to move both of them, but let's see. I'm just going to do one at a time here, and so. Now I'm moving this um, up and down, but it's not really changing my position, and that's because I need to actually change my target now. So if I can, see, if you can see, the target is really on the low, um, on the on the plane itself, and I want it to really be positioned here in the middle of my um, box or room. So I'll go back to my regular um, select tool. And now I can go click on my uh, camera target. Another way to do this is just to select the camera target from my list here. I could see that I have a box, camera one, camera target. So this is an easy way to do that as well. I could select camera target here. And I'm going to go back to my select and move. And now I'm going to move that. And now you could see that it's really changing our camera view. So I'm going to set that here maybe that's a little too high something like that in the middle and now I can go back to my um, curve NURBS curve curve CV and continue to edit each of these points until I am kinda happy with the overall view right so I can continue to move these and position them. So let's say that once I have this view set up, maybe this is going a little too far out. I might want to bring this in a little bit more. This one as well. And that's looking a little bit better. Okay, so I'm moving from my axon view to this view. I have that set up. And now I'm going to play this. And it's playing a little bit fast. So I want to increase the frame count so that it's playing a little bit slower. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to set this back. And on this uh, time configuration um, icon, I can click on this. And let's say we're going to make this at 30 frames per second. So right now I have about a little over uh, 3 seconds right, with 100 frames. Let's say that I want this to be 9 seconds. So I'll make it, um, well, 270 frames, but I'll make this a little bit uh, less than that. So I'll make this... 250 frames and I'll hit OK. So now you can see in the time slider I have 250 frames and when I press play it's still playing at the same speed 
and then it stops after 100 frames it stops and just stays stationary and until it reaches 250 and then it starts again so the reason it's doing that is because my camera the time slider is still set to to this 100 keyframe so I'm gonna reset this and um, in order to find that keyframe I just need to select my camera so I'm gonna go over to my camera one and you could see that we have a keyframe that appears here in the timeline and I could just click and slide this all the way over to 250 all right so I'll deselect now so now when I click on play you could see that it's moving much slower and it's going through all 250 frames so now it's set for exporting and we can um, start to set up our um, animation to export individual frames